Well, hello and welcome back. Xbox 12 here, and today, well, we're just going to continue on our game of Dyson Sphere Program. Continue on from where we left off. So, last we left off, we had just gotten the Universal Matrix production up and running. And so, today could very well be the last episode in the main game, at least for a bit, because I'm thinking going to stop it once we get the main quest done here with mission completed. So, we'll start off by increasing the production rate of the Universal Matrix here just a touch more. And also consumption rate. So that's about as good as we can do. Now, it's actually going to take quite a bit of time to get... all the matrices being made because we need about 4,000-ish and we're also lacking in the regards of antimatter. So, let's see if we can up our antimatter production to keep things running at least somewhat smoothly. Uh, where was that? Yeah, it should be over here. <clears throat> okay. Well, antimatter shouldn't be too hard. Seems like we've got critical photons, and all we have to do is use up more hydrogen. Hmm. So let's see how many critical pho photons are we actually making? Yeah. A second. Oh, we should be able to just check that out with in the production tab here. So let's see here. Past ten minutes it shouldn't have changed, so we're making about twelve a minute. We're not consuming any anything. So I need to set this up to be able to consume about I'd say 10 critical photons a minute. So, let's take a look at what that entails me having to do here. So, if I can find the... Here it is. Um, uses two every two seconds. So, if we do a bit of math here, 12 minute... 12 divided by 60, that means about 0.2 a second. Oh, wow. We need to increase the amount of crooked photons we're getting. Hmm. Well, let's go another way here. Oh, this is out? Oh, cool. Well, we've got some space here, so might as well just... Get rid of all that. And see, yeah, there's nothing here, so we'll just clear and reset everything here. And so we need antimatter, so let's say we request critical photons, which I can see for the life of me. There we go. Demand critical photons. I might also need to get some more being produced because, yeah, it's not very fast. But, we should be able to see um, miniature particle collider. Or do we even do it like this? Because the other option is we just come back over to here. We just need to use up hydrogen. Which for now it's going over here, but can we just burn that or something? Wait, can we bring 
Oh, we might be able to bring the excess hydrogen out from over here as well. Okay. So if that's the case. Go from here over to there. Hydrogen can come out there. Perfect. And now I just want to think about using it up. <clears throat> there are a couple of options I can go about using it up. One is I could literally just throw it into some thermal power plants and see if that will, how much that can use up. So let's just see about that here. Hmm. About how many we can make use of here. So you can throw that there. One gap in between. And I'll just throw that there. Okay, I'm honestly not sure if this is going to be enough to deal with everything, but we'll see. Finish this up. There's not too much to go on here and here, so if this isn't enough, I'll need to add some more of them to production here. But if this does just burn through all the hydrogen, I'm happy. Oh, there should be more than enough at that rate. Yeah, we just got excess, and that's just making a tiny bit of power, so. I'm not complaining there. So we're still just missing these guys, which is just missing all the power containers, yeah. Power containers are a big issue here. Wait, how's our tech going? Oh, that's going to take a while at this rate. Hmm. That's fine. Yeah, it's good. So that's all well and good here. Cool. So these are just still super slow in the production. Really slow. Cause it's not gonna be able to do a lot there, so yeah. But we could just leave this be and just time lapse it, or oh, we've doubled the speed, so we're getting there. It's just gonna take time. Hmm. Yeah. I think until next time I'm gonna have to just wait. Because one of the things is I'm not getting as much progress done in this as I'd like in other games. Oh. In these videos, because I'm taking 20 minutes at a time for this, so fun. Now, I might be able to increase the speed a bit more. If we just add another one up there. Bring those down. Go to the usual thing of bring this up here.
down and across to here or something. Which is the same here. Might have to move that power pole because, yeah, it's going to get in the way of the blue ones. So, punk down here, up here, down to there as well. This one shouldn't be as hard because we don't need to bring it as up and over, so it's fairly simple. And in you go. Cool. Producing that. Which will just go next easiest way out. This over to here. Perfect. We feed from here into here. And just a tiny bit of power for everything. So we've pretty much doubled our production here. Now will this be able to do enough? We will see. Because hmm. I definitely am going to have to upgrade this. I think this will be pretty decent. What's it saying at this rate? Uh, about two hours at this rate, so we could do that. Cut back to when it comes back. It'll take like a while. But it should be able to keep up. As long as we're keeping up with the antimatter. It's good. In the meantime, we could start thinking about designing up a new way to do the matrix labs. Apart from the fact we actually have zero being made. Weird. Didn't I never connect this up? No, there's none being made there. Ah, that's because they're being made over here. Cool. Hmm. I suppose the next easiest way I could go about making these matrix labs is for research is single row with three coming on each side up here like that. Because there are six different matrices that can be researched here. So it'd be something like that for research with them coming in like so. Yep. And that would just tile down. So that's good. That's one way and also would be stacked up to the max height there. Cool. Which I can also use this exact same way to make the universe matrix as well. That's good. Oh, we're up to 5%. Yeah, that's not going to take too long. Okay, so it seems like, from the looks of this... No! This is building up! So, th this is producing more than this can handle at the moment? Actually, no, it's about... A bit over two one stack of these can provide. Just a bit, because we can see it's providing five, but it's also not enough power supply. I need to go deal with that. I think that's one of the big reasons why we're slow, and it's not producing too fast. So what ways do we have to solve our power supply issues? Let's head on, no, not this way for the power supply. 
it should be over here. No, this way, yeah. Totally getting confused about where I'm going there. Okay. Let's run out of that there, but... We've got some more deuterium fuel rods, so can we... Hmm. Oh, because all of these will be connected up and... Yeah, you can see they're all connected up and powering everything else over there, so that's good. Can we get any more of these mini fusion reactors down? No, nah, we don't have enough of anything, so... Fun. But we are still getting the Dyson Sphere being made. It's just kind of a bit slow. And we have 979, so we have... Quite a bit more we can actually make use of here. So... I just need to be able to get all the power in. Can't handle it with the um oh other way. Yeah, with the antimatter because we can't don't have enough particle container production up and running. That's an issue, but can we make some more ray receivers? We need some more super magnetic rings, but other than that way. Pretty decent. I need to get more. These, because how much can each ray receiver receive? Basic generation is 6 megawatts per. Hmm. But that's at basic levels. What's the amount that I'm getting from the amount I have at the moment? I know I need to head to my south pole over this way. Okay, so each ray receiver can, is producing about 30 megawatts of power. Apart from the ones that are producing the critical photons, which we've only got two doing that. So. We can expect to get about 30 megawatts per. And how much are we lacking? Demand 700. So if we get another 10 ray receivers and keep that, them going, we should be good. So I need some more. Let's quickly just go grab everything else I need if I can find them, of course. Because it's going to be quite a bit. Um, okay, I think I have an idea how, how to go about this. Okay. We fly over, we fly over to one of our production areas over here many for the quantum chips. There should be a decent amount of these guys in here. Cool. So, that's that one. Um, we need quite a bit of that. Oh, we've got so much hydrogen. This is sucking. I have nowhere to dump all this hydrogen. I just re remove it. Okay. So. Now we need steel, which is. We have enough. Silicon ingots, we have enough. We have enough photon containers. We have enough of those. We just need more super rings. 
Okay. Over to the Super Magnetic Ring production site. Which is over here. Oh, we have enough in here, so that is about 200 ish we need. And so, if we come over here, we should be able to make 10 of them. Perfect. Ah, uh, foundations. What do we need for some foundations? For here. Stone, bricks, and steel. Do we still have stone brick production? I think we do have a bit of stone brick production right here. I don't think we have foundations. <laughs> yeah, I never did get the foundation production up back. No, I do have foundations. I forgot that I still could get that up and running. So, now we can go back over to our photon ray receivers here at the poles. Cool. Actually, so Let's come over here and well, we'll just quickly build up ten more of these ray receivers, and we'll be right back. That should have solved our power issues here. They're not at full power yet because they haven't been running for all the time, but we did see that we are getting quite a bit of power here. Yeah, our consumption demand is being mostly satisfied. I think that's mainly just because of the gravitational lenses, but hey, this is working and we're getting a decent amount of now. That's good. And we did get a couple of achievements here. One, we started producing which is a power generation of one gigawatt, which is quite a lot. And also got send brain needs more energy too, which is a total power generation of the last year, reaches one gigawatt. Which that's good. And there's quite a few more that I need to actually get done here, but it's pretty decent. So that's good. And also our research is actually coming along very nice and smoothly here. Let's head on back to where our research is being done over this way here and see how that's going. If need be, I will just pretty much cut to the end where it's all done, but we're in pretty good spot here. Like, how long would this take? About an hour. So, yeah. I'll probably just cut to when this research is done. So, 
We'll be right back. Well, we're back and yeah, with the final mission complete research is almost done. Just got what, about a bit under two minutes here to go till it's done. And it's at like what, 99%. So we're very close to it being done. And we should probably be like the main story of the game being done, but there's still plenty left to do afterwards as well. Like one, I could literally just go on to complete the Dyson Sphere. Which that would be something I could do. Mind you, it does look pretty cool. It's just a bat ring on it. So that's cool. But yeah, it's also taken quite a bit longer than I was expecting because yeah, we've run into a few problems in not having enough antimatter and power running short and a whole bunch of other things. But yeah. This is looking really good with this being pretty much done in the last couple minutes here. When we have enough universal matrices, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. And also this is inefficient because I'm not spraying with them with the proliferator fluid to get extra products and everything, so yeah. Really improving that from there, but we're in pretty good spot here. Final 30 seconds, and we'll see how this goes here. Because this was took quite a long time to just get everything done here, but <coughs> should see it being finished momentarily. But we can see that our science are pretty much building up matrix abs. So, yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Done. Oh, that took me a long time, but congratulations, it's good. builder of great civilizations. Ooh. The primary mission of the Dyson Sphere program has been successfully completed with your efforts. The energy you provided is bound to make the homeland develop with high speed, cool. and your figure will imprint with every step forward. This cluster has been activated. To remember your achievements, people light up a star in the Milky Way star map. Yes, it will always record your contribution to the forthcoming third level civilization. Now please rest a <laughs> and then embark on the journey of the Sea of Stars again. Yep. Third level civilization. But that's good to see that we're done there. Like, it's only one milestone we didn't get, and that's a spiniform stalagmite crystal. I'm half tempted just to grab that to see what we've got here. Just to get the last milestone done. Which means I'd have to find. Ah, here we go. So, let's see if we can go get ourselves a spiniform stalagmite crystal. Is it this one here? Cool. Now it's only five light years away. That shouldn't take too long for me to get there. So, uh, 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 go fight with the gravity, go fight with the gravity. And so, we'll head on over to Microscope Eye here. It shouldn't take a massive amount of time. Wow, it's only like, what, 20 odd seconds to get there, so. It's cool. And with the acquisition of Spinner Force Stagmite Crystals, that would be the last milestone done, and pretty much. Just about most of the stuff I can really want to do at the moment done here. Like, I mean, I could if I really wanted to go and finish up the Dyson Sphere, which I might do, but we'll just see how we go here. Oh, I'm distance out. 
Okay, that's where I want to go. Cool. Ah, uh, so you gotta take about the same amount of time as it took to get here, so... Yeah. But this is good. <coughs> Last milestone will be very good to go here. Hmm. So we just need to find a spinniform stalagmite crystals and we're good. Um the North Pole crude oil. This should be a vein of spinniform stalagmite crystals here. I'm either blind and can't see it or... Ah, here they are. So, pretty much on the other side of the planet. <clears throat> so, head on over there, we'll mine up one of them and see what we get from it all. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Very clear. Yeah. So that is everything done. We've got all the milestones done. So that is great. And so we'll just probably head on back and... Take a look at the last couple things here. So. We need to head back to Maris. Over this way here. Hardly has any power. So. Head on back. And we're good. And we'll just sign off. Taking a look. Yeah. So that is quite a journey it took to for me to get all the way done here. <coughs> quite a journey. So yeah, quite a journey. Starting off from like, what, nothing on this planet and then going all the way up and getting, producing that and getting everything done. I reckon it's been a pretty good session to get that all the way up to there. Like, honestly, I could keep going, but I've had enough of this for now. So, yeah, call it the end of the episode and probably this season of Dyson Sphere program here. It was a journey, fun, a bit mind-boggling and all slow at times, but it is what it is. So we'll just call it there. So with that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you like what you want to see, what do, again. So that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, then you can always comment, like, subscribe down below. And if you want to, you could also come join me over my Discord or my Twitch. I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expo12 every Monday through Friday. And that, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day in Expo 12. Signing out. See ya.